Hello, hi, and assalamu alaikum. This is me, Asghar Khan, and today we are going to discuss prepositions. One of the most important topic for uh, ETA, NMDK, and all the uh, exams where English is included. If we define preposition, it's a word that always comes before a noun or a pronoun to show its time-wise or place-wise relation with rest part of a sentence. Always comes before a noun or pronoun means that if it comes somewhere and there is no noun or pronoun after it, it is not preposition, right? So, if I say they are in and I stop my sentence here, so the word in is not preposition there, it's an adverb, right? So, we need to have a noun or pronoun after it to call it a preposition, otherwise it is adverb. Okay. What does it show? It shows time-wise or place-wise relation. If you look at the first example, they are in the room. So the word in is showing place-wise relation. And here, he'll come in winter. Here, the word in is showing time-wise relation. When we talk about the types of preposition, we've got three major types of preposition. Simple preposition. Simple preposition is a preposition that is made of only one word. Like we have got in, on, at, by, with, up, and all these are simple prepositions and they are made of only one word. Compound preposition. Compound preposition is made of two simple prepositions, right? Like you have got in, in is a simple preposition, two. Two is a simple preposition. So when they combine together, they make compound preposition. On to, within, up on, clear? All these are compound prepositions. And then we have complex preposition. Complex preposition is a preposition that is made of two or more words in which one word at least has to be simple preposition. So if you look at this, on account of, here we've got two simple prepositions prepositions in relation to we've got two simple preposition and it is not necessary that you have all the words as preposition one word can be a noun can be a verb can be anything clear so these are the three types of preposition and now we are going to explain some of the confusing pairs of preposition and then I will uh, use Urdu as well in order to make it clear to those who have a little bit difficulty in understanding things in English right तो ये कुछ ऐसे पेयर्स हैं कि जो हमें एक जैसे तो लगते हैं लेकिन असल में वो डिफरेंट होते हैं ठीक है तो इसमें हमारे पास जो पहला पेयर है वो है इन और इनटू इट्स वेरी इजी आप इसको इस तरीके से समझेंगे तो आपको प्रीपोजिशन में कभी भी कहीं पे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी क्लियर तो द फर्स्ट पेयर इज इन एंड इनटू अब देखें in or into me kya fark hai? It's very easy. When we are talking about something that is in rest, we use in. And when we are talking about something that is in motion, we use into. So for rest, we use in and for motion, we use into. For example, if I say, David is desh the class. Now, David is desh, the class means that David is in the rest position. So, I will use David is in the class. But then, when I say Lisa enters desh, the class. So, when Lisa is entering, she is in motion. So, we will use into there. So, Lisa enters into the class and David is in the class. On versus upon. Both of them look same, but there is difference. मतलब जब हम कहते हैं कि किताब table के ऊपर है या frog table के ऊपर आया clear, तो लगते तो दोनों ही same हैं कि हम दोनों के साथ ही on use करेंगे. लेकिन हमने on कहाँ पे use करना है और upon कहाँ पे use करना है? Let's see. 
again the same difference when something is on the surface and it is on in, in rest we use on or agar koi cheez surface pe hai lekin wo motion mein surface pe aayi hai so we will use upon right for example ab main kehta hu ki the glass is on the table ab glass jo hai wo kya hai wo rest mein hai so the glass is on the table lekin agar main kahu ki the frog jumped dash the table ab jab frog jo hai table par jump karega to wo rest mein hoga ya motion mein motion mein so the frog jumped upon the table clear so we will use upon there i hope it is clear now the third by versus until okay we use by and until for time wise relation and by is used to show something that will happen on or before the exact time ek cheez ek khas waqt par hogi ya us waqt se pehle pehle hogi so for that we use by and until is used for exact time on exact time now let us look at some examples suppose you are asked to do something until 5th of a month clear so and you have got the choice you can either do it on 5th of the month or before 5th of the month clear for example 5th of the april clear so if i say you have to submit your assignments dash 5th of april ab 5th of april tak aapne assignment submit karni hai aur aap usse pehle pehle bhi kar sakte hain so iske liye main kya use karunga by you have to submit your assignment by the 5th of april ab aapki class shuru hoti hai 5 o'clock aur wo khatam hoti hai 6 o'clock to aapne class mein 6 o'clock tak rehna hai exact time tak aap logon ne rehna hai so i will say you have to stay in the class until 6 o'clock clear that's the difference between by and until among versus between acha isko aksar misunderstood kiya jata hai among or between ko ye kaha jata hai ki jab hum do cheezon ke darmiyan mein ho to hum between use karte hain aur jab do se zyada cheezon ke darmiyan mein ho to hum phir among use karte hain this concept is absolutely wrong acha ab correct concept kya hai करेक्ट ये है इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू डिस्टिंक्ट थिंग्स टू थिंग्स विच आर डिस्टिंक्ट और मोर देन टू थिंग्स विच आर डिस्टिंक्ट विच आर विच आर मैंशन सेपरेटली ऐसी दो या दो से ज्यादा चीजें जो कि क्लियरली मैंशन की गई है अलग अलग मैंशन की गई है अगर हम उनके बीच में है या हम उनके बीच में किसी को सिलेक्ट कर रहे हैं वी आर गोइंग टू यूज बिटवीन or if we are talking about two or more things that are mentioned as a group jinko as a group mention kiya gaya hai tab hum among use karenge for example pakistan is located dash now in this blank you are going to use the correct preposition pakistan is located dash india china and afghanistan the first sentence and the second sentence is pakistan is located dash asian countries so if you look at the first example in the first example i use india china and afghanistan i mentioned three countries separately so when you mention two or more than two things separately you will use between so pakistan is located between india china and afghanistan and here pakistan is located among asian countries is your right answer clear above versus over very easy above when something is upper than us and it is in rest and when something is in upper position and it is in motion we use over for example the sky is above us because the sky is in rest and the airplane is flying over the mountains clear so airplane is in motion so we use over the sky is in rest so we use above i believe it is also clear phir hum aate hain in or within ki taraf ab ye bhi hum time ke liye use karte hain jab hum baat karte hain completion of time ki 
एक टाइम पीरियड जो के कंप्लीट होगा तो तब एक काम होगा वी विल यूज इन और जब हम किसी टाइम पीरियड की बात करते हैं और एक काम उस टाइम पीरियड के कंप्लीट होने से पहले हो चुका होगा सो फॉर दैट वी यूज विद इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द प्रोजेक्ट विल टेक सेवन डेज I will come back in a week because when the project takes seven days, so I have to complete a week and then I have to come back. So the project will take seven days. I will come back in a week. And here within, the project will take only four days. So I will come back within a week. So it means that before completion of a week, I will have come back. Clear? That is the difference between in and within. Now coming back to these uh, pairs, below versus under. Let me uh, clear it with a diagram. So if you have a mountain, a tree, and a person. There is a mountain, there is a tree, and there is a person. Now you see, the tree is lower than a mountain, yes. The man is also lower than a tree, yes. But they are in different positions. Now, this position is under the mountain, in this position, this is under the mountain, okay? So, this position is under the mountain, तो ये बिलो है द ट्री इज बिलो द माउंटेन और जिस पोजीशन में ये बंदा ट्री के नीचे है सो so ये अंडर है ठीक है तो आसान अल्फाज में अगर आप किसी चीज यू यूज बिलो और अगर आप किसी चीज के नीचे है और डायरेक्टली है तो यू यूज अंडर आई बिलीव इट इज क्लियर फिर हमारे पास है बिहाइंड वर्सेस आफ्टर वेरी सिंपल Behind is used when we are talking about rest, rest position. And after is used when we are talking about motion. Now, let me two examples and you will give this answer. A boy is standing dash the door. Now, the boy is stand hai, standing, he is in rest. Mein hai. So, the boy is standing behind the door. The dog was running dash the thief. After the thief, because your dog running karega to wo motion me hoga. So that's why we use after. Across, along, very simple. Ye ek road hai. This is a road. Aap is direction me ja rahe hai. You are walking along the road. Aap yaha se a rahe hai. You are walking across the road. Clear. By versus with. Acha. कुछ काम हम खुद करते हैं कुछ काम हम टूल्स के जरिए करते हैं वो काम जो हम खुद करते हैं उसके साथ हम क्या यूज करते हैं बाय जब हमें किसी एजेंट की जरूरत नहीं होती लेकिन जब हमें किसी एजेंट की जरूरत होती है व्हेन वी नीड व्हेन वी नीड एन एजेंट तब हम क्या यूज करते हैं विद यूज करते हैं ठीक है when we are in need of no agent we use by and when we are in need of an agent we use with for example this letter is written dash me ab jab main letter likhta hu to mujhe kisi agent ki zarurat nahi hoti matlab koi mera haath pakad kar wo letter nahi likhta main khud likhta hu so this letter is written by me isi tarah agar main kahu ke the lock is open dash key. Ab ki khud se ut kar lock nahi kholti. Ki ke liye ek agent ki zarurat hoti hai. Aur wo mein hu. So mein kahunga ke the, the key, uh, the lock is open with a key. Agar mein by the key kahunga, to iska matlab ye hoga ke wo ki khud se ut ke taala kholti hai. Which is not possible. Clear? So we will use with when we are uh, when we are in need of an agent or when we are doing something with the help of a tool ye baat yaad rakhiyega aur by jab hum koi kaam khud karte hain aur uske liye hame kisi aur ki zarurat nahi padti theek hai in or on in mein kafi zyada differences hai ek difference jo hum gaadiyo ke liye use karte hain matlab most of the time students are confused whether to use in the bus or on the bus so it's very simple dekhen ek ac gaadi jisme aap sirf baithte hain जिसमें आप सिर्फ बैठते हैं उसके लिए आप 
इन यूज करते हैं और एक ऐसी व्हीकल जिसमें आप बैठ भी सकते हैं खड़े भी हो सकते हैं चल फिर भी सकते हैं तो उसके लिए आप क्या यूज करेंगे ऑन यूज करेंगे तो अब वेरी इट्स वेरी सिंपल नाउ वी आर इन द कार वी आर ऑन द बस क्लियर सो दैट इज हाउ प्रिपोजिशन डिफर फ्रॉम ईच अदर एंड देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ अदर प्रिपोजिशन फेयर वेर देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंसेज बट वी थिंक दैट दे आर द सेम स्टे विद अस एंड यू विल लर्न ऑल ऑफ द प्रिपोजिशन थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक अ वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ गुड बाय बेस्ट ऑफ लक